Hi, I'm Jennifer Dornbush and welcome to Forensic Fridays. Today we have a creepy edition. As you know, we're in Fremont, Michigan at my forensic home. My dad was a medical examiner for 23 years and the office was in our house. Uh, not only was the office in our house, but it was also in our basement. And that's where we're headed right now. Headed down into the family basement to show you where we stored some very unusual things. Uh, so first of all, maybe not so unusual, but still a little creepy. Uh, my dad always kept all of the slides, all of the tissue sample slides, all of the tissue samples, all of the blood vial slides. And so he would have them in these little fun little slide drawers. This is a slide, this is a tissue sl sample slide. So it has like a slice of the tissue, whatever. I don't know what this one is because it's not labeled, but it could be kidneys or lungs or heart or liver. So it was always labeled with a number and by date of death and the name of the person. So he made sure that he kept all of these. Because sometimes you have to go back and refer to them. And then I just noticed this when I came down. Nuevo County ME Medical Examiner Grazer. That's my dad's last name. And so I wanted to check out what was in this little treasure. I haven't been down here in a very long time. Noticed the nice 70s carpet. So let's see what we have in here. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, yeah. All of his um, camera equipment, different size lenses. He actually, um, he took all his own pictures and he even developed his own pictures. This was back in the day of film. Film, people, for anybody under 25, film. This is film, a roll of film. Put it in the camera, develop it. You only get 24 frames. All right, another, um, and the last kind of interesting thing, again, um, he, the county didn't have a place to store, like I said, tissue samples and blood samples. So we actually stored them here in our basement. For the blood, we had like a, um, a big refrigerator, refrigerator that is now gone. But for um, tissue samples, we had our lovely family freezer. Now on the top, as you will see, you're gonna find nice cuts of beef ribeye, maybe some chicken, some pork, fro frozen beets, mm, frozen zucchini. But then if you were to just move one of these baskets and keep going down, down, down to the very bottom layer, what you would find is kind of dark and creepy, but what you would find down there are all um, in little containers samples of maybe a lungs or liver or kidneys or heart um, from people who had been deceased. They would all be labeled with the person's last name and then of course the date of death. And this was needed because a lot of times you needed to, um, cases went on for a while, maybe you needed to go, there were a lot of times lawsuits involved and so you needed to be able to prove um, and have these backups as to how people actually died, what was the cause of death. So yes, creepy, creepy, creepy. Anyways, that's another look into my forensic home. Thank you for joining and come back next Friday.